Morning everybody. I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase, you learn something new every day. I try to make that true in my case. I try to learn something new at least once every day. Um, I realize not everyone can do that though. Not everyone realizes something new. So I'm going to do my part. Uh, it's nothing boring. I was trying to think of something that everyone likes. I already did something about music. I've done something about food. Animals. Everyone loves animals. You probably know a little bit about animals, so we're going to do one about an animal that you may not know a lot about. And I'll explain to you how I learned this from a little story, a little situation I was in. We're going to learn about alpacas. They're a lot like llamas, but llamas got the llama song. If you haven't heard it, freaking hilarious. Check it out. They've got um, Emperor's New Groove, all about llamas. So far, nothing about alpacas. Even though they're just as cool, they're just a little bit hairier, and I think they spit less. But, there is one thing about the alpaca that's different than any other animal. Today's valuable lesson, mating alpacas make noises that mimic ice cream trucks. See, now this is a defense mechanism and part of their pro progress up the evolutionary ladder because it protects them from predators and animal control workers who would seek to harm them or ensnare them during their most vulnerable of moments. Um, the sounds the copula and cannibal wannabes produce invoke memory stimulation of good times during childhood or unleashed walks in the park if you're a dog, thus diverting attention from their efforts to reproduce. Most people are content simply to have a pleasant moment of reflection on their yesteryears. But I, on the other hand, being a child at heart and my inner child being a fat kid, immediately scream, ROCKET POPS! and ran with much haste towards the tinkling tintabulations. As I leapt over the fence, not once wondering why purveyor of push-pop pleasures would be enclosed in somebody else's field, I realized in mid-air, to my own obvious horror, that I had been duped by nature's trickster, the alpaca, and I landed directly on top of the quadrupled couple. Needless to say, there was a moment of tense silence as they disengaged, the sun sunniances ceased, and we all looked each other tenderly in the eyes. My mind began to race as I ran through the options, the tenderness in their eyes subsiding. I knew that I must act quickly, lest I become part of a post-coital snack. Suddenly, light as bright as the gates of heaven shone upon my fear-abided brain and behave a vision of such soulful grandeur that to this day, like a month later, thoughts of it still dim all else in existence, and I knew what I must do. I began to sing, softly, slowly sweetly, gently. I told a witch doctor I was in love with you. I told a witch doctor I was in love with you. And then the witch doctor, he told me what to do. He said that... Seeing their dirty doggy-like eyes drifting away from mine and back towards each other, my confidence drew along with my voice bravado, and then my stature as I rose to my feet and beckoned towards the gate of the pen. Once more. And as I lifted the latch, and they drifted back towards each other, my chorus and theirs reached a crescendo, and schoolyard memories of truly summer's tre treats mingled at the sound of sweet, sweet love. I think at a time like this, we can all appreciate the wisdom of this story. What the heck is wrong with me? Poop, it ain't easy.